Hey guys, Jev here, and yes, we have another guide. Today's topic, the Retribution Paladin Patch 4.3. As usual, we're going to be brief and get straight to the point, so let's get started. Let's begin by discussing the stat priority list for a Retribution Paladin. First on the list we have Strength. Strength cannot be reforged into, so we should get as much of it as possible. After that, you want to make sure you're hit capped. The hit cap is 8%, followed by the expertise cap of 26. After that, you want to go for Mastery. Mastery increases the damage of our Templar's Verdict, Crusader Strike, and Divine Storm by a certain percent. After that, you want to go for Crit, which is greater than Haste, but not by much. Crit gives all of our abilities a chance of dealing extra damage. Last on our list we have Haste. Haste can increase the number of melee swings that we dish out, the number of ticks that our dots can do, and it also reduces our global cooldowns. The reason Haste is at the bottom of our list is because the amount of Haste required for the soft cap is next to impossible to obtain. This may or may not change in the near future. Next, let's talk about gemming. Do not ignore the socket bonus if the bonus provides you with strength, or at least plus 20 mastery. If the bonus does not provide you with this, then go ahead and ignore the socket bonus by gemming a plus 50 strength gem. Now that we've discussed this, let's talk about how you should gem if the bonus is worth gemming. For every red socket, you're gonna gem plus 50 strength. For every yellow socket, you're gonna go for plus 25 strength and plus 25 mastery. And for every blue socket, you're going to go for plus 25 strength and plus 25 hit. And let's not forget about the meta gem. For that one, we should have plus 54 strength and 3% increased critical effect. Next, let's talk about your enchants. For your head slot, you want plus 60 strength and 35 mastery. On your shoulders, plus 50 strength and 25 critical strike rating. For your back piece, plus 65 critical strike rating. On your chest piece, plus 20 to all stats. And for your bracers, plus 50 strength. For your gloves as well, plus 50 strength. Don't forget to add a belt buckle, this will allow you to socket an extra gem. And on my legs I have 190 attack power and plus 55 critical strike rating. On my boots, plus 50 mastery. And for our weapons we should have landslide. Next, let's talk about reforging. Once you've reached the hit and expertise cap, you want to make sure that every piece has mastery on it. If the piece already has mastery on it, then go ahead and reforge into the next best stat. For example, over here on my helmet, I have crit and I have haste, but I don't have mastery. So I went ahead and reforged haste into mastery. Now we could do this for every single piece and figure out which stat we should reforge into. Or if you're short on time, you could always visit wildreforge.com and have them do all the work for you. Now let's talk about the priority rotation of a retribution paladin. Your main priority should be to keep inquisition up. This will increase all holy damage by 30% up to 36 seconds. Next on the list we have Crusader Strike, which we will use to generate holy power. After that we have Templar's Verdict, but only if we have 3 holy power. Going down the list we have Hammer of Wrath, and if we can't use this ability, or the abilities above aren't present, then go ahead and use Exorcism, but only if it procs. Next, we have Judgment, followed by Holy Wrath, which we will use as our fillers when none of the above are available. Last on the list, we have Consecration, for when all other abilities are not present. 
Next, let's talk about your cooldowns. If you have any trinkets, go ahead and use them because they can increase your DPS. Avenging Wrath is a 2 minute cooldown and will increase all damage and healing caused by 20% for the next 20 seconds. Next to that we have Zealotry. This also has a 2 minute cooldown, and although it requires 3 holy power to use, it does not consume the 3 holy power. This will make your Crusader Strikes generate 3 charges of holy power per strike for the next 20 seconds. It's best to use this in combination with Avenging Wrath. Last on our list of cooldowns here we have Guardian of Ancient Kings. This has a 5 minute cooldown and will spawn a Guardian to fight by your side for 30 seconds. During this time, you and your Guardian's attacks will cause you to be infused with Ancient Power, increasing your strength by 1% per application. When your Guardian's time expires, he will then release Ancient Fury, causing a certain amount of damage times the number of applications. It's best to use this ability 10 seconds before popping Avenging Wrath and Zealotry. That about sums it all up. If you found this video to be helpful in any way, don't forget to subscribe, like, favorite, or even comment down below if you have any questions about the video. If you'd like to view the specs and glyphs that I highly recommend, go ahead and click on the link down below in the description box. And remember, friends don't let friends do bad DPS, so spread the word.